please tell me where in the world you're from and let's get this going. So I wanted to do a video today on how to make a change in your life and my life. So the basic quality, and I love to say sometimes to make a change, we have to make a change. There's an unconditional quality to trying to make a change, which is it can't just be willpower. We've all tried that, whether it's dieting or binging or whatever it is. Um, purging, you know, there's a back and forth quality. Uh, sometimes to, to do that, we just have to do it. So how do you make that change? Fearlessness in the Buddhist tradition is um, not a quality of being macho and dominating like a LeBron or a Viking. You don't just muscle your way through everything. You John Wayne, you saunter in and you take care of this situation. Fearlessness in the Buddhist tradition is feeling the fear, breathing through it, and doing it anyway. Opening up our heart. And that's actually scary. Fearlessness, as I wrote recently, feels like fear. The difference is you don't give up. You breathe through it. And you also don't get caught up in the fear. You don't freeze. You don't uh, hate on yourself for feeling fear. You're just brave enough. So there is bravery. You're just brave enough to feel that vulnerability, to feel that fear, and do it anyway. Do it. Do it. Do it anyway. Do it. So this fall, and this is not all a plug for Elephant Academy, but Elephant Academy is related, which is this fall, we're going to all get together. Elephant Academy is our online training school, and we're going to make a change. We're going to write our way into empathy. Why empathy? Because empathy is happiness. We think we can be happy. In the Buddhist tradition, we say, if you want to be happy, think first of others. If you want to be unhappy, think only of yourself. So we think we're going to be happy by just taking care of number one. But as we know from MTV Cribs, there's a lot of empty, echoing, kind of sad and lonely McMansions out there. The actual way to community is to leave behind your private basketball court and go out and play at the community basketball court to connect with people. Obviously, given COVID, we have to be respectful and consider considerate about others. But generally, the principle stands that if we want to be happy, we have to engage in kindness. We have to engage in thinking of others. And when we do so, we forget our own turmoil or we use that own turmoil like the lotus uses the mud. The beautiful lo lotus flower is a symbol in Buddhism of enlightenment or waking up because it's this beautiful, perfect, clean, bright, lovely flower, but it grows up out of the mud. And the mud is like fertilizer is our neurosis. That's the symbology there. That we're all effed up. We've all made mistakes. We all make mistakes every day. <clears throat> no one's perfect. No one's trying to be perfect. Enlightenment is not perfection. Enlightenment is being awake fully. So we can wake up simply by, um, you know, being kind, engaging in service of others. And then we kind of forget our own. We can obsess about our own problems forever. Or we can use those problems to connect with others. And they have problems too. It's not that our problems don't matter or we're trying to um, pretend we don't have our problems or we're trying to forget about our problems or suppress our problems. Or you're actually kind of getting into it. Get into the muck and use that as empathy. To be a little less theoretical about it, if you had a rough parenting situation, a parent died or a parent was awful or some something, how, whatever kind of situation, if I had that too, then I have that wound or that break, broken heart of empathy that I can extend to you and I can show up for you because I understand the effect that had. So it's, it's not theoretical. It's incredibly earthy. In Buddhism, they use the example, and it's a painful example deliberately. They say, because everyone loves puppies, probably even evil people love puppies. You look at a puppy, and if you see that puppy get hurt, your heart immediately leaps out of your chest. You immediately extend that, and you say, oh, I want to stop that. That's awful. So that is empathy. It's not theoretical. It's, it's a direct feeling. And empathy is the conduit between confusion and happiness. And happiness is in service. Trungpa Rinpoche said, 
service is the ultimate smile. So if you want to be happy, you engage in serving others. Remember, if you want to be happy, think first of others. If you want to be unhappy, think only of oneself. So that's what we're going to do in Elephant Academy this fall. Elephant Academy is engaging us in that path of empathy and service through writing. You don't have to be a writer to do it. It's simply to engage and empower you to make it that a real change, a non-theoretical change in your life. In sharing our experience and sharing our heart, we can fall in love not only or make friends not only with ourselves, but fall in love with the world entire. So that's all I got for today. I hope that was fun. I hope that was inspiring. When things are tough, we got to remember to engage in caring and empathy. And a bird just flew up right onto my windowsill. Please join Elephant Academy. Sometimes to make a change, we got to make a change. Thank you so much.